Does coffee cause cancer? We're going to talk about it. All right, so some of you guys may have heard the new law that was just passed in the state of California requiring all coffee distributors to label their products as potentially carcinogenic. This is a warning label you'd find similar to that on a package of cigarettes telling you that this product may cause cancer. Why all of a sudden are they doing this? Well, it turns out that quality control agencies of the state of California have done analyses on a lot of coffee products uh, being sold in the commercial market and found that many of them are actually contaminated with an industrial solvent called acrylamide. The coffee companies are, of course, afraid of this because they're worried about their products not selling as well because of other custom because of customers not thinking that their drinks are safe. Now, the coffee companies are claiming that despite acrylamide found in their products, it's at such a negligible amount that it's going to have no effect on the body whatsoever. We're talking low parts per million here. So here is the scoop on acrylamide. It is a known carcinogen and consuming it in significant amounts can be harmful to your health. But there's a way around this. Certain companies, not many, and certainly not the main commercial distributors that you're going to find on the corner coffee shops on every city in the United States, but there are smaller companies growing though for the health market that have controlled all of these variables when it comes to roasting, the harvesting of the beans, the elevation, the air quality when the, during the roasting process and the fermentation process, and also just the quality of how it's brewed and how it gets to you in your cup. A lot of people don't realize that all the steps before this are really, really important to not only preserving the beneficial nutrients in the coffee, but also negating or preventing all of the hazardous toxins that could end up in your coffee. Mold is, you've heard me talk about this before in my other coffee video, which I encourage you to go check out. Mold toxins are one of the most prevalent problems in coffee today. And that's actually, I believe, a reason for why a lot of the data is skewed against coffee, saying that it actually has a harmful effect on the nervous system, can induce adrenal fatigue, can lead to higher histamine responses, and ultimately incidences of cancer. So what I recommend you do is no matter what you're buying, make sure you buy organic beans. And if you're getting decaffeinated beans, try to find ones that have been produced with the Swiss water process. A lot of the decaffeinated beans that you can find, whether it's instant coffee, whole bean, or pre-ground, have been, they use harmful solvents to pull the caffeine out, which can leave a lot of weird byproducts in there and increase the risk for mold. So what I have been doing lately is I am always a big proponent of coffee because it has very, very high antioxidant concentrations as well as has a plethora of benefits. So what I've been doing is I have been experimenting over the past several years with different companies and different beans to find the purest, most clean, wonderful tasting, but especially healthy beans that aren't going to make me crash or tweak out halfway through the day. So the company that I've found most recently is called Keon. And what Keon has done is they have, as I was saying before, controlled every single variable in the coffee process that leads from where the seeds are planted in the world to the beans that come to you in this bag. Not only do they control all of these steps, but they also do rigorous testing for things like acrylamide, also mold toxins such as ochre toxin and ethyl toxin, and any other heavy metals or contaminants that may end up in your coffee that you don't want to start every day with. So by choosing clean beans like this, you're going to get all the benefits, the very, very high antioxidant concentration, plus you're not going to crash halfway through the day and end up with cancer. Another company that I also really like is called Bulletproof Coffee, and there are actually a few other organic coffee companies that uh, make some pretty clean beans that I personally have tried that I like, but Keon is definitely my favorite. I don't have any financial affiliation with this company. I just recently started drinking their coffee uh, about a week ago, and it probably makes me feel better than any other coffee product that I have ever tried ever. So I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any insight in terms of if you drink coffee, what coffee works for you and what doesn't, how it makes you feel, if you have an adverse reaction to it, or you're just trying to experiment and maybe find a brand new, clean, organic coffee source, I can help you out. So just send me a message or post your experiences down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the channel and go ahead and click that little bell next to the subscribe button that appears after you click it if you'd like to see more of these videos. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.